Well, it's my view that in the sport right now, there is a major, major problem. And um, without making it a dictation of morals whatsoever, because that's not uh, the way I operate, I see the problem being um, the abuse of anabolic steroids that's so blatant nowadays in both the men's and the women's aspect of the sport. It's becoming less and less uh, desirable for the, the average Joe on the street to, to want to have anything to do with the sport. It seems as if aesthetics and beauty of physique are not really taken into consideration. My legs are my easiest body part to build. And uh, I was known for my legs. So I would stick to the basic list and that's how I started. I learned off the squat, the deadlift, the shoulder press, um, bent foot rows, uh, you know, between dumbbells and barbells. And I was very, uh, very basic with my training because I didn't want to deviate if I was uh, falling into situations where I didn't have equipped gyms. I was, shoot, at 19, I was a 700 pound squatter. Oh, I mean, I was squatting till my nose blood. That if you didn't squat till your nose blood, then you were doing it wrong. So our mirrors at our gym, you know how it is when you go in those hardcore gyms, the mirrors are covered with spit, but ours, I mean, we bleed all over those. It's crazy. But that's the kind of mentality that's the kind of place I trained on. The guys are hardcore, we wrapped our knees, we set that weight up there, and plus me, I had my, my scares, my strains, or whatever, I never had a like leg injury, but I, I realized after time, and they didn't need to go that heavy, but I felt that well, first of all, I think everybody has tremendous potential. One of the things you have to realize is that you cannot be a victim to your genetics. Your genetics must be a victim to you. The first time for everything. That's an easy thing. Uh, I am scared to death of leaving the gym knowing I'm a loser and didn't give it my all. I think about that before each leg worked out. Can I leave the gym training halfway? Can I leave the gym not really giving, ever giving it everything I got? And always the answer to myself is no way, I can't do that. I'd rather die than leave the gym a loser. So, when I think that thought, when I get in the middle of the set, I mean, there's no holding back. I mean, I'll squeeze every rep out, and I'll, I'll go to the point to where I can't get any more reps, but I get five more, and sometimes five more after that. Uh, most of us, we put limitations on ourselves as humans. We think that 10 or 15 is enough. There's more in you. There's always more in you. There's always five more reps. And I think with that kind of mentality, you can get through anything. The truth is, there's many times, I would say more times, that I don't feel motivated than I do feel motivated. So maybe three to four days out of the week, I still show up to the gym and still do what I know needs to be done even when I don't feel like it. You still show up to work, okay? Show up to work and do the damn job because you know that's how you're going to get the desired results. So just keep on thinking about how you want to look. That should be enough motivation. Doing the right thing should be enough motivation to get you going. A lot of people on social media, they want to portray the perfect life. They want to portray, like, you know, the sense of, like, wow, I love this gym. 
Like, yeah, sometimes you love the gym, but the gym is supposed to be tough. Your workouts are supposed to be tough. Like, and this should be exhausting when you've been following a diet for six months or a training program for six months. Like, you should feel like, wow. But that's where all the magic happens. The magic happens when you push past your comfort zone. Because I demand and I expect so much of myself when I'm in the gym that if I don't have a good workout, it ruins my day, okay? It ruins my day. I put that as the most important thing. I must, I must have a good workout. You know, you must do your cardio. You must diet. You must train hard. You're not always going to love it, and that is okay. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not supposed to always love it. You just have to stay committed and do the shit you know must be done. Make a promise to yourself. Promise yourself that you will never just give it a little bit. You will always give it everything you've got. You can do that. If you can really promise yourself that and marry yourself with that promise, you'll get through any leg day.